Hey guys, thank you for tuning to Moomoo Outdoors. Today I'm out here at Central Coast. Never fished here before. First time being on a Central Coast water. We'll be targeting rockfish and lingcat today. However, there's a species here that uh, I've been waiting to check it off on my bucket list. Uh, hopefully I get it on today. Uh, if I get lucky, I'm out here with uh, Chovy and uh, my buddy Nick. There he is, Paul. Paul is the one who took Chovy and I out to the uh, lobster hooping last year in LA. So he's out here, my buddy John. Quite a few people are here today. So it's gonna be a fun day. So you guys probably have noticed that uh, I've been struggling lately. I'm in a slump. <laughs> So it's hopefully, it's of your own doing, <laughs> So it's of your own doing. My plan here today <laughs> is to uh, get a little jump start, going back to the basic, rock fishing link ah. going back to ah. the basic, <laughs> to give me a jump start so I can catch fish again. Right, Toby? Ah. <laughs> ah. Hey, you were here to catch rock fishing <laughs> link I do this once a year. For charity. Hey, my, my. <laughs> That's what I'm here for my charity work. You and Darius and all you guys have been hitting me up for the last year. Tell me, tell me, let's go to run Big Sur, let's go to Big Sur. <laughs> you know, I don't really care for the rest. Everybody, everybody else care, care for the like the Vermilion. That's like a prize, most prized rockfish. It's the best rockfish! But I don't really care for it. And what but, does he catch? What does he eat? But there's a species that I want to catch here. That's what my main target. Huh? White sea bass? No. The real white sea bass? No. The sheep head. Sheep head? Yeah. They are here. See? They are here. So that's what motivating me to come out here. <laughs> <laughs> the sheep head. So Chove is going to give us a little tour of this beautiful central coast. Alright. Nice day. Really nice day. The like swell is like maybe 3 to 5 at the most. Uh, every like nine seconds, so it's pretty flat. The wind is minimal um, At the most I think 10 miles per hour. Uh, right now. It's like nothing, but uh, Later in the day it might be might be 10 miles per hour Hopefully it stays this way. So I got a new rod that I'm playing with today This is uh, Apollo by QI fishing This is the uh, the chicken rod made for lean cut and rockfish and this thing is super light you know, I like using Trevella because it's lighter than other like boat rods, but this is even more lighter, super light, and uh, if you can see, it's pretty thin, but don't be fooled, it's got some backbone to it. And uh, the reel I'm using is the, the Ray Ons 200, this is a size 200 casting reel, it weighs about 9 ounces, and uh, it holds about 150 yards of a 30 pound braid. So that's what I got on right now, and I got a, about 10 foot of a 25 pound mono uh, to get that abrasion resistance. Let's see how these uh, these two perform today. So like I mentioned earlier, we have Paul. Say hi, Paul. <laughs> so Paul, Paul is the one who, who took uh, Chovy and I out, out on a, a lobster hooping. He showed us how it's done, and I probably caught at least a dozen, but I only got one keeper. But <laughs> I'll be going back down there this year and uh, try to get some more. So today's bait of choice is gonna be a uh, Branson bait Sleel with the four hunk jig head. What is squid for? What's huh? the best, right? Tip. 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 Put some put some squid on on on, on the hook. Okay, That's I got something too, on. Easy to too fast. Yeah. Oh, 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 it feels great. Watch it. It's gonna be a blue. Hey. Oh, he got a red! He actually got a red! Nice red right here! Red. No He's squid! No squid! Who's got a red? Oh, oh my god! I'm Everybody's on. crazy for this fish! I don't know why. Because it's a good fish. Ah, you know? <laughs> oh, disgusting! Blues! What the heck? No! Chubby, you no. catch all the blues, I'll no. catch all the reds. Okay, no. one good size no. red no. on board. No. The good thing about using a bigger swing bait is blue usually can't swallow that. <laughs> They'll swallow it. Oh, 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 oh
Good size blue. Should I keep it? Joby. What? Should I keep it? What? Blue. No. No? No. Joby says no. <laughs> it's a beautiful fish. No. Beautiful, red. delicious fish. Only red. Oh, come on. I tell you what though. This rock feels great. It's amazing to see that they got a big old kelp bed over here. Uh, you rarely see this uh, at Sonoma Coast anymore. It's really good to see the kelp bed. I just cannot get away from these blues. I mean, they can't even swallow this swim bait. They're just pecking at it. Nah. Blue. Nice blue. But, but Chovy won't let me keep any blues. All right. Blue. There you go. Man, these are some good quality sized blues. So yeah, when you on. are jigging yeah. the bottom all day long, I see you guys. having a light rod really helps. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, feels good. I don't know if this is a linka or a big rockfish. It's not making runs, so I'm gonna say it's a big rockfish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh boy. I got a monster copper. Oh, take a look at that. Yeah, Woo! I'm gonna see how big it is. Biggest copper I've caught, for sure. 21 inches. But uh, this guy was foul hooked, so I'm gonna let him go. Big copper. Woo! Good fish here. Decent, hopefully it's red, so I can keep it. Uh, I got another nice copper. Good size copper. A rockfish. Maybe it's a red. Not too big. It's a red! What do you got? Little red. There you go. There you go. That's a good size. That's a good size rockfish. Got a good one now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a good size rockfish. Oh, it's a ling. It ain't no rockfish. It's not a rockfish. It's a ling. Did you say throw it back? <laughs> you know I love lings. This ling is not very big. It's pretty small. I want to say maybe 24, if, it, if it's above 24, I'll keep it. Because smaller links I actually taste better than big ling. But under 24 is kind of small, not much meat. With the fish gripper, it's a 23 and a half, so it's too small. Goodbye. How did you get, how did this little oh, guy dude. got this big old... Dude, that is big bait. <laughs> big old lure in his mouth. Amazing. There you go. There you go. Oh. oh, this is a ling. This is a ling. Doing his death roll. Nice. Looks like a decent sized ling. Something that I want to take home with. All right. Uh, maybe not. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe uh, 25, 24. Let's take a look. All right, 24. I'm keeping it. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's a, that's a good size rockfish or small ling. Not doing the death roll, so I'm, I'm assuming it's a rockfish. Yeah, it's a big red. Nice. Big red. It's a copper, bro. Is it? 
Oh, it's so copper. God dang it. <laughs> I was excited. Okay, I'm keeping it still. Oh, uh, that's you to my left right there, huh? Blue's got a full screen here. Two red, two copper, one link. Oh, so heavy. Oh no! <laughs> it's not swimming down! Very trauma. It's floater. I got a floater. I gotta keep that fish. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah! Good size. Good size. Maybe. Maybe I'm getting tired. Oh, uh, it's a link. Thank you, number what? It's a small link. That's why. Probably like 23. It's gotta go. Too small. There you go. In the kelp. Got it. Alright. I got something. Oh, that's a that's a link. That's a small link. Could be a rock fish. I don't know. It's not pulling drag, so. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, no! Yeah, over there. What's going on? No, it's a nice big copper again. Look at my copper fly off. Another 20-inch copper. There you go. There you go. Oh, you let go. There was a link. There you go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a link, that's a link, that's a link. Yeah, he came back for it. He came back for it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good size link. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Doesn't want to come out. Oh yeah. That's a good size ling. Okay. There we go. Go. Good size ling. About 30 inches. Mouth closed. 31. 31 inches. Yeah. Oh, this one feels better. A little better. Oh, it's a red. Oh. Got a red. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. All right, so it was a really nice day fishing today. Uh, the weather was beautiful, condition was perfect. So ended the day with the 31 inch link car and also got really nice stringer of rockfish. Got three reds and uh, three copper. I also had a giant copper biggest copper I ever caught but it was foul hooked so I had to release that one and another link out in there and I also kept these two floaters decent size not big but I reeled them in too fast so their swim bladder just went boop and they couldn't swim down so I don't like to leave floaters on the water they're gonna die anyways so I better bring it home and I cook it and I caught tons of blue good sized blue too but uh, it was early in the day so I released them all probably caught at least a dozen good sized rockfish and uh, if you count the uh, these two and the uh, other ones probably over 30 so really nice day uh, fishing hopefully this will give me a jump start and uh, so I can uh, now catch some uh, good sized halibut and salmon 
uh, from here on. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more and go outside and enjoy the outdoors.